Hi. Uh, tough game. Uh, thought our guys were ready to play. We came out uh, a lot of emotion, a lot of uh, energy in the first first few series, and I thought they battled hard the entire way. Um, you know, it's 24-21 going into the fourth. And, uh, so you know, when you play a team of uh, USC's caliber, that's what you hope for. It's going to the fourth quarter, have a chance of winning it uh, in the fourth quarter. They didn't get it done. They made a few more plays than we did. Uh, two in particular, the 83-yard uh, play action pass over the top, and then the pick six on the screen play. Those two were the back breakers. And give them credit. They made the plays. We didn't. But uh, again, proud of our guys for how they fought. Played the entire 60 minutes. Uh, we didn't play as smart as we should at times. And, and, uh, and we got the corrections to make. some incremental progress in the offense. Probably took a step forward. Uh, even though we didn't have great numbers, I think we got the execution is big to build on. But uh, bottom line is we're 0-2 in conference. And uh, we that the match the wall just like last year. Doesn't get any easier. We got UCLA at UCLA, I believe, next week. And so, you to fight. That's all we can do. And uh, these guys will. They'll, they'll hang together and keep playing. Questions? How did you feel about the defense overall? Mixed bag. You know, I thought we did some good things. You don't ever want to give up an 83 yard ball over the top. That's, that's unacceptable in our schemes. But, but uh, you know, the pick six was one of their touchdowns. We had put the, you know, another bad spot or two. But, but uh, overall, you know, I, <coughs> Decent defense. Not not up to our capabilities, but, but decent. 27 total penalties yeah. in this game, including a touchdown that got called back. How did officiating yeah. affect yeah, the game? You know what? I never complain about them. 27 penalties in one game. Give me a break. Let the kids play. That's, that's all I'm saying. Good or bad officiating. Just let them play. Can you explain the outside uh, kick rule with the fair catch? Yeah. The rule, if the ball is driven into the ground, one hops, in the air, you're allowed to make a fair catch uh, signal and you have protection. But our guys are in the fair, I'm not sure it was a valid fair catch signal has to be back and forth more than one time. I'm not sure our guys had time. If it even was valid, I'm not sure they would have had time to react to it because it happened bang, bang. And so that's, uh, but that is the new rule is you can, you're off of kick protection or uh, uh, recovery protection on one hop, just like you are, it doesn't get Hits ground twice, there is no protection. So. Are you okay with the balance of uh, run to pass by the offense? Yeah, I think so. You know, it's, uh, we, need, we know we need to throw the ball a little bit more. That you know, was after the first the last three ball games. I think that uh, tonight we struck a pretty good balance. And uh, we're more productive in the rush game, even though we weren't as productive as we need to get to. Uh, we did uh, a lot better job running the football tonight, I think, than we had the last three games. I guess it's a pretty darn good defense. Too. You think John looked more comfortable out there? John White or John White? John White. John White, yeah, for sure. He was 100% tonight, which, which is good to have him back at 100%. He would have come away with 70, 68 yards. You know, that defense with 13 carries, over five yards a carry. That's pretty good production for, for, for a team like USC. Uh, Jordan Davis had a couple of big plays. Yeah. Uh, what did you think of the balance of the offense tonight? Yeah, I thought it was good. 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 D-line played hard. We did play a little bit better but early in the game than we did later on. I thought they did a nice job of settling in maybe in the USC and uh, doing a better job of pass protection. But, but uh, still proud of the way our defense line played. They, they played hard. The star is, you know, he's a, he's a great player. No doubt about it. You talk about the changes you made in defense. Got some new players you saw tonight. And kind of yeah, so, uh, you saw some new faces. Uh, Jason Whittingham and, uh, and linebacker and uh, Rashawn Hooker and that probably would have happened earlier, but Sean was out for, I think, three weeks during fall camp. He was uh, quite a bit behind, but he's now caught up. And Jason was out for two and a half weeks with the, with the uh, injury. And so, you know, those two guys, we felt now was the time they were ready. And I think that we accelerated, and they not had those setbacks you know, they, in the fall camp over the last uh, two or three games. You talk about the play of Matt Barkley. You guys were like a half a step away, yeah. and then he would just get rid of it. That's his, that's his strength. I've said that for uh, the last two years now when I've watched him. He's good ball out of his hand. He's in a hurry. He's one of the things he does best. And uh, he did that tonight. He did his usual numbers, 23-30 and about 70%. And uh, you know, he 
is, is very important. I think maybe the best in the country as far as the pass or set down for two or three. What about your quarterback? Hayes seemed to play pretty well in the first half, but almost regressed in the second half. How, how yeah, concerned are you? There's some balls he'd like to have back in the second half, but I thought he was really sharp in the first half. And, uh, you know, he he uh, didn't have a great night. Uh, you know, the, big, the big blemish was the, the pick six on the, on the screen play. I thought Travis came in and did a nice job moving the team down the field and got us in the end zone. And, uh, perhaps we should give him some more opportunity, but, but uh, John Hayes is still at work. Considering how you played last week, how big a jump is this? Big right jump. And like I said, I'm proud of our guys. There's no moral victories in our program. We played like we're supposed to play. And, you know, we did not do that in the Arizona State game, but not even close. And so, like I said, we saw progress, particularly in offense. But uh, we still got a long ways to go. We got four top 25 teams the next five weeks or something like that. So you got to be ready every single week. Fourth largest what? crowd in stadium history. How was the environment? Great there? crowd. Appreciate our fans. They're doing a nice job uh, supporting us. They couldn't be more uh, pleased with how they've given the support this through the first three home games. And a uh, big factor in the game, uh, in the rivalry game. I thought they were a factor tonight in a couple situations. And, and uh, really, like I said, grateful for our fans and how they uh, backed our football team and, and uh, really the support that they've given us. How big of an effect did the penalties have on the offense? I mean, there were some big play, capable yeah, plays you know, that came back. It, it, it was, and particularly the, the one that really hurt us was the, the, the special play that we had that you know, throw back and touched down the sky to the end zone. They called over the lineman downfield. And the number they said was definitely not downfield. Maybe they got the numbers mixed up. I got to go to the phone to see for sure. But uh, I know for sure the guy that they, they said was down was not downfield. But that was, that was big. But, you know, like I said a thousand times before, I'm not going to complain about our calls. It just would be nice to let the guys play a little bit. Not necessarily with the calls, but how does it affect the confidence of your offense when you're able to strike a play? And it seemed like there was multiple times yeah, where... It's a little deflating. It's a little deflating. That's part of the game. you got to be able to bounce back and uh, get past it. Thanks, guys.